Alrighty guys, what is going on? Linky here, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a break from the Pokemon discussions to talk a little bit about The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We finally have a title for the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and I wanted to discuss it, talk about what we saw, and if it's a little bit too little and a little bit too late to be showing just teasers for this game. Let's jump right into things. Not only did we get another teaser trailer for the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, but we got a title and a release date. It feels so good to be able to say that. Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is going to be coming out in May of 2023. As long as it doesn't get delayed again, we will see. I have not done a ton of Zelda content on this channel. I did do a couple live reactions to a previous Tears of the Kingdom trailer back when we didn't have a title for it. That was over a year ago. We've gotten three, I believe, trailers for Legend of Zelda's Breath of the Wild sequel, Tears of the Kingdom. All of them have been very short. All of them have showed limited gameplay. But what we can see is that they have taken the open world of Hyrule from Breath of the Wild and have completely turned it on its head by putting every into the air, apparently. Everything we see from this sequel looks incredible. It started out apparently as DLC for Breath of the Wild, and the team just had so many ideas that they had to make a sequel. It's running off the same engine, and that presents a lot of interesting questions. It's been six years since Breath of the Wild came out, and we're only now getting proper titling and release dates for a sequel that's built on the same engine. One of the reasons Breath of the Wild took so long to come out in the first place was because they were building this brand new open world, building up all the assets, building out the world. Originally, the game was scheduled to be a Wii U launch, and it eventually got split and came out same day on the Switch and the Wii U. It was a very weird cycle, and this cycle beats it because it's been a strange lead up to this game's launch. We've only gotten teasers up to this point. Everything we've seen in the teasers shows that they are expanding upon the world of Breath of the Wild in a lot of really interesting ways, adding new runes that seem to allow Link to travel upwards into the sky, adding new travel mechanics such as the giant bird that is very reminiscent of the Green Goblin's um, hoverboard in the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies. We saw that in the most recent trailer. We've gotten a lot of hints that the Zonai, the ancient people hinted at across Hyrule and Breath of the Wild through runes and hieroglyphs are going to be more of a focus in this game. And we've seen a lot of Ganondorf and we've seen a lot of what the central villain and story could be in this game. Not only does the box art and Ganon's presence make you feel like there's going to be a deeper story in Tears of the Kingdom than there was in Breath of the Wild, but the amount of time between the two releases makes you think that they have really thought through how you take an open world formula, which was excellent in Breath of the Wild, and put that together with a comprehensive story. Because if most people had a critique of Breath of the Wild, it was that the story and the, the climax of the story at the end was very lacking. It felt like it was underwhelming compared to the the minute by minute gameplay of Breath of the Wild. So hopefully in Tears of the Kingdom, they're able to merge those two things and create a better end product. Now, before we go any further, I just wanted to give a shout out to my brand new Pokemon podcast, The Eon Ticket. It has its own YouTube channel where live episodes get uploaded after the fact. They are streamed here on the Linky channel every Sunday night around 7 p.m. Eastern. We discuss all of the newest Pokemon news, specifically right now, Scarlet and Violet with chat interaction and occasional guests. So if you want to support this awesome project that I'm working on, check out The Eon Ticket YouTube channel. It is linked on my YouTube channel channel page, follow the socials, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, all of that, because we are going to be posting a ton of fun stuff on there. But I won't keep you very much longer. Let's get right back into the Zelda discussion. This game is going to have to do a lot of heavy lifting, though, because it's been a long time since we've gotten Breath of the Wild. And when you're taking a world that is pretty much the same from one to the other, this is a sequel. We're moving forward in the timeline. It's going to be the same landscape with, of course, alterations, namely what's going on up in the sky. They're going to have to beat back the expectations and the concern that it's going to be too similar. How do you innovate on a world that's already been so deeply explored by your players? Most people who play Breath of the Wild put 
tens to twenties to hundreds most of the time hours into this game. They've searched every nook and cranny of this overworld. So the challenge for the dev team is creating a world that feels fresh while still feeling familiar. This is where the, the, the sky uh, features seem to come into play. We do see some new mobs in some of these trailers, so they are working on it. But we've gotten three teasers, and it's 2022 now. This game was announced years ago. Have we seen too little? And is it too late to get people properly hyped? I've seen some conversation within the community that there's a chance that they kind of missed their mark with this game, that it's been too long since we've seen anything from Breath of the Wild, and that even if they innovate on the margins, the length of time between this release and Breath of the Wild is going to feel naturally underwhelming. And I think part of the problem is that we've only seen teasers. We haven't seen genuine gameplay. It's been so long that people kind of know what we're working with, and I expected this Direct to give us a meteor trailer for Tears of the Kingdom. I didn't expect to see a third teaser. We had known since the last time AJ and Numa gave us an update on this game that it was getting pushed to 2023 and that it was coming out spring 2023, so you'd imagine that the last Nintendo Direct of 2022 would produce a beefier trailer for this. But since the release date is late May, or late spring in May, you would have to imagine that we could see it at a January or February Nintendo Direct. We could see a teaser trailer at a February Nintendo Direct and an announcement for a dedicated Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Direct coming in March, potentially. And that's when they could blow out the game. And I think they could, and I think it would pull people in. I just... I question some of the decision making on the part of Nintendo and how this game has been shown off. The level of excitement from Zelda fans and from Nintendo fans as a whole who played Breath of the Wild was incredible when the sequel was announced because so many people looked at it and compared it to Ocarina of Time, this big innovative Zelda game, and said, well, when Ocarina of Time came out, they made a sequel, being Majora's Mask, and they built it on the same engine and made a lot of improvements and really gave us a much more interesting product, something that was not done in Zelda to this point, a scary, uh, strangely constructed Zelda game on the skeleton of an all-time classic. And it looked like that's what they were going to be doing with Tears of the Kingdom, building off the same engine as Breath of the Wild, as I've talked about before. And now we've seen that it is that, it is the case, and in that first trailer, they did go down that scary horror route with everything going on with Ganon and the skeleton and the hand reaching down to him and Zelda falling down into the chasm. They were really hitting on those notes, and since then, it's been not a ton. They have time, of course, to reconcile these issues. They have plenty of time to show us a big blowout trailer, letting us know all of the different new features. We've seen some with the time runes and other things that seem to be new to Link's arsenal. We have questions abound in terms of the mechanical flying machines, what all the runes mean, how it connects to the Zonai. So they've done a good what's going on with Ganondorf. So they've done a good job of setting up questions for us and setting up things that could potentially have payoff with brand new mechanics and brand new features. I just wish they would show us a little bit more of them soon. I know that Zelda games are funny. The release cycles are often long. They're often convoluted. We often don't know why certain things are taking as long as they are, but they usually produce really, really compelling titles. They usually produce standout games. And with Breath of the Wild being the major success that it was, most people have been more than willing to give the Zelda team as much time as they could possibly need to work on this title because Breath of the Wild was a masterpiece. It is my second favorite game of all time, only to Mario Galaxy. It is a masterpiece. We're going to see what the next couple months give us for Tears of the Kingdom. We're going to see what the Zelda community decides to figure out with all of the different teases we've gotten in these trailers from the hieroglyphs and the caves and what these different mobs are going to bring and what the story could be with the two serpent dragon looking things as I hit my microphone on the box art. There's a lot to speculate about and people are already speculating on most of it. I think we need to see a bigger trailer. I think this was a bit of a, a, a misdirection on the part of Nintendo only showing us another teaser, but I am happy to see a title and a release date. I am happy to see that we actually have something in view now, something we can actively look forward to that isn't just a very vague year window.
But what do you guys think? If you're Zelda fans, if you're Breath of the Wild fans, are you excited about Tears of the Kingdom? Are you excited about what we saw in yesterday's Nintendo Direct? Or do you think we should have gotten more? Let me know down in the comments section below. And if you want to see more Zelda Tears of the Kingdom videos in the future, please let me know because this is something very different for the channel. This is not common to what I usually upload. So if you enjoy it and you want to see more, please be sure to leave a like and let me know down in the comments section. But that has been the video. I will talk to you guys later this week with more Pokemon. Check out the Eon Ticket as well, my new Pokemon podcast linked on the channel page. The first episode has already been uploaded, so you can go check that out right there. I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.